All the latches have been released. The arm is uh, continuing to go through the process of uh, letting go of Cygnus. And release confirmed at 6.31 a.m. Central Time as these two vehicles were high above the uh, Atlantic Ocean, just to the east of Argentina. Again, Cygnus has been released by the crew of Expedition 37. Expedition 37 crew now backing the arm away from the Orbital Sciences Cygnus spacecraft. Release confirmed at 6.31 a.m. Central Time. Once again, the two vehicles were high above the Atlantic Ocean, just to the east of Argentina. Houston aboard is armed. Copy armed. Abort commanded. Copy commanded. Karen Nyberg has sent the abort command to Cygnus. This will signal its engines to begin firing to move it away from the International Space Station. The arm now at 1.5 meters away from the spacecraft. Station Houston, Cygnus departures in progress. Continue to monitor departure. That's steps two through four and one six zero two. Copy that. So Cygnus bids farewell to the International Space Station. It has been up there close to a month after arriving at the end of September. This test mission is rapidly coming to a close. As Cygnus is due for a destructive reentry into the Earth's atmosphere tomorrow. This test flight went pretty much without any sort of hiccups at all. There were some challenges in the beginning, but of course you know, those are to be expected during any sort of test flight. But once Cygnus got up to the International Space Station, everything went extremely smooth as all the different uh, 10 milestones that Cygnus needed to accomplish during this test flight were accomplished in rapid succession. The uh, crew was able to capture Cygnus, attach it to the station, open up the hatches, and unload it of all the different cargo that it brought up on this test flight. They packed it full of trash and other items that they no longer need, sealed the hatches yesterday, and released it this morning, and sent it uh, toward the end of its mission, which will occur tomorrow afternoon. Cygnus there on the horizon, sort of disappearing back behind the Cubot laboratory. Here's a view of it from the end of the station's arm. This vehicle is rapidly approaching the keep-out sphere. This is an imaginary circle around the International Space Station. And the uh, team here confirming that we have passed that 200-meter point, so Cygnus is now outside of the keep-out sphere. Station Houston. Cygnus has exited the 200-meter keep-out sphere. 